Hi there, Chris here. So I was messing around with different length pick wires. Um, one of my good buddies wanted to know what uh, what gauge and what length pick wires I use for various different locks. And I'm also uh, still working on my two-in-one pick. And unfortunately, <laughs> I got it stuck, the upright stuck coming out of uh, not the lock it was made for, and I busted it off. So what that tells me is I need to do a better job of putting it on there. Um, also, someone asked about, see, these are telescoping tubes. Um, this one fits exactly onto this one and you can get those if you if your local hardware store doesn't carry this S and K brand of tubes and piano wire and all that you can go to Amazon they carry them and they actually oh, hit my camera sorry they actually have a pack of telescoping tubes uh, from little ones all the way to the big ones, and in there are the ones that I use for this guy. Uh, it's like 22 bucks, and it's free delivery. So um, that should help uh, if you're in the States and, and your hardware store doesn't carry those. Um, anyway, so I was playing around with these. And because it's raining, I can't really go out and resolder, clean up this and resolder my upright. So, but the, the work in the lab always <laughs> continues. Um, so I have something new here. And this, I saw this and I had to buy it. And what it is, is an A Parker. And <laughs> this Parker says, yay. <laughs> so I haven't even stuck a pick in it yet. We'll see if I can... We'll just, we'll try and just do it right here. I did open it. Someone has repinned it, not well. Certainly wasn't Paul Springett because his you don't even see. Um, and they also missed part of it because when you open it, <laughs> the shackle comes completely out. So somewhere in there where there was a retaining pin that they didn't quite get right. <laughs> but that's all right, it's still, it's still a functioning lock, and I thought I would try and pick this. And then maybe later, Parker could try and pick it. So let's give this a shot. I'll go top of the keyway, and I'll just, I'll just start like I start. <clears throat> With a lock I've never picked before. So I'm not feeling anything. I mean, I'm feeling pins, but I'm not set getting any sets. There's a false set. Two? No? Oh, maybe. Three? Can't quite get under three. Deeper false set. So how do I get under three? There we go. I don't think I have my pick on it well though. Okay, I got it up there. It's possible it's overset. It's down again. My shrink wrap is getting loose. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm setting. Let's just try and rake something up here. Echo wave. Sort of a rock and a roll. There we go. So if I hold.
hold this. Oh, I lost it. I have to do it again. That's the problem without the spring in the shackle. It, you gotta, I'm gonna stick my little finger through it and so if we get it. Rock and roll. <laughs> Rock and roll. It's a good thing this isn't a 10 minute pick. I know we'll get this. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I had to fight it, but there you go. There's an A. Parker. Now, it's possible that I have one. I thought I had one somewhere, and it may be buried in the miscellaneous lock drawer, or it might have gotten um, traded out. Come on, guy. There you go. It might have gotten traded out. In the Suki fire sale, the three packages that went out. Anyway, I will look for another one. So that's what's happening in the lab. When it starts raining, or stops raining, I'll uh, give this another go to get, get the upright on there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> and we have another Parker in the house. Uh, hit the like, leave a comment. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm getting a ton of subscribers. I'm not sure where they're coming from, but I do appreci appreciate each and every one of you. And new ones are always welcome. All right, we will see you next time.